And that's the thing that I'm going to show you in just a second, why none of this adds up when you see what they allowed in the show along with the Christian themes. But just when you think, oh, you know what? Maybe there's some decency left. Disney goes and does this. Howdy y'all, I'm Brylan. So I just did a video yesterday about Disney losing big time. Another one of their movies that they just put out over Thanksgiving tanked. It did horrible, did worse than the, the movie Lightyear. And that did really, really bad. In fact, their new movie is probably going to be their worst release ever ever. Can you believe that? You know, I think people are getting sick and tired of having all this agenda pushed down their throat. You know, I didn't hold back in that video, but you see this video right here? Disney will be judged by God for this. You know, this video got shadow banned. I just put it up yesterday at, at, at the time of me recording this video and it got shadow banned. I did not hold back in this video. I tried not to use too many code words and the system picked up on it and shadow banned this video. Funny how that works. As you can see, it's a little over 2,000 views in five hours. Obviously, <laughs> obviously my channel got hit. That's not gonna stop me from speaking out on these atrocities and encouraging other believers to do the same thing. But you know what? We can rejoice when we see stories like this. Hey, I just wanna say real quick, we got some of our new merch out right now. This is one of my favorite shirts, Read the Bible. If you want to support this channel, you can check out the link below. It says shop our merch. Hey, would you mind hitting that subscribe button and being a part of this community with us? I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button, you know, when you like this video, YouTube will push it out to more people and it would really help spread this message. Christ, mass. Tim Allen says, new Disney Plus series Santa Clauses features Christian themes. Now, this was a big story that hit a few days ago. Tim Allen said that he talked Disney into including Christian themes into the Santa Claus show. Now, there's actually more to this story that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you something that's absolutely shocking in just a second that's going to make you question everything that this article has to say. But listen to what Tim Allen did, though, to get Christian themes put into the new Santa Claus show on Disney+. Plus. Actor Tim Allen says he was adamant that the new Disney Plus series, The Santa Clauses, feature faith-based elements since Christmas is, after all a Christian holiday. It originally had a lot of otherworldly characters like ghosts and goblins. I said, no, this is Christmas. It's Christmas. It literally is a religious holiday. Alan 69, who's an executive producer for the series, told the rap. We don't have to blow trumpets, but I do want you to acknowledge it. That's what this is about. If you want to get into Santa Claus, you're going to have to go back to history. And it's all about religion, said Alan, adding that these elements are in episodes five and six. So I guess five and six are the last two episodes and they feature some Christian, uh, religious, I, I don't know what this means, this kind of language. I don't know what these themes are that they added, but according to Tim Allen, who claims to be a Christian, says that he really likes the, the, the Christian themes that they added to those two episodes because he talked them into it. Now, I like Tim Allen as an actor, and I like that Tim Allen isn't in this bandwagon of alienating everybody on planet Earth that doesn't agree with him. You know, Tim Allen's been outspoken on some conservative things, and I really appreciate that. He It sounds like he uses common sense a lot of times, but when it comes to a lot of the things that Tim Allen is doing in the fact that he claims to be a Christian, it doesn't always add up. And that's the thing that I'm going to show you in just a second, why none of this adds up when you see what they allowed in the show, along with the Christian themes. In an interview on the Kelly Clarkson show, Alan said the subtle Christian elements include background about St. Nicholas. We dive deep as it gets later about St. Nicholas and the Turkish priest that started this. 
The series he added is about the power of giving to others. The heart of Christmas is about giving. Getting is what we've gotten used to, but the whole thing about it, but the whole thing is about what it's like to give, he said. Give as a father to his children. It is also magical you see and then you and then you throw in the words magical there and all that mumbo jumbo but you know the thing is is that (laughs) when you see how nuts disney is lately it's so funny to hear that apparently to disney having christian themes means just being a decent person (laughs) so when you see how nuts disney has gone i mean everything that disney creates has an agenda now everything has to be this you know, check mark every agenda on the list. Otherwise, it won't get made. Apparently, the Santa Claus got past, you know, got the green light, even though, you know, I don't know how much agenda it's, that's going to be in it. I can venture to guess that it's going to have agenda in it because Disney said that they won't create anything without agenda. So we have to think that it's going to have agenda to it. But the thing is, is that Disney literally had to be convinced to add elements of just being a decent human being into their into their new show because it was too Christian. It, see, this is what's so backwards about all this. Now, being a Christian means that you place your faith and trust in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and that you are saved through the blood that was shed by Christ on the cross. Having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ is being a Christian. Now, being a good person isn't being a Christian. You can't get to heaven by being a good person. But hold on a second. Let's pump the brakes because we can talk about how there's these Christian themes and then really the explanation of the Christian themes has nothing to really do with Christianity at all. It's just being a decent human being with any type of morality whatsoever. But just when you think, oh, you know what? Maybe there's some decency left. Disney goes and does this now you see that they say we love you satan but it's supposed to say santa and you know this is just a subtle way of dumbing down satan of dumbing down the worship of Satan, the acknowledging of Satan, of you know just making Satan seem like a big joke. You know, I've gotten flack for this when I've talked about the Chosen and how the Chosen uses Satan as their mascot, basically, to you know advertise for the show through their ad campaign called The Chosen is Not Good. Welcome everyone, the devil here. And people say, lighten up, you know, it's just Satan, you know, it's not the real Satan. It, wh- what? Just real quick, check this out. This is what the Bible says about Satan. In 1 Peter 5, it says, be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. And then check out John 8, 44. You... Are of your father the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Satan isn't a joke. Now, you can try to write this whole thing off with the we love you Satan thing. It was just a joke. But the thing is, is that the more that we write this stuff off as just a joke, the more dull we become to this kind of, this, this very thing. And we start to allow little and little and little and little and little bits more of this type of satanic dulling and we start to get into a mindset to where we we don't really recognize it anymore we don't really take it serious anymore we don't take satan serious anymore and that's a very dangerous place to be so is disney christian now no disney is not christian now they have no plans to actually implement anything christian into their shows or movies whatsoever 
Disney is still Disney, and they're going to ruin everything that they touch, and that's just the way it is. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and being a part of this community, I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And also hit that thumbs up button. You know, when you like this video, YouTube will push it out to more people and it would really help spread this message. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.